Hey guys, today I'm going to be changing the release film on my Saturn IV Ultra. It seems like a daunting process, but it's really not. It's just a lot of screws, a little bit of time, and you'll be back up good to go. Let's get to it. We'll be changing the release film on this Elagoo Saturn IV Ultra, which I absolutely love. Unlike my love-hate relationship with the Neptune IV Max. We'll have more on that on a different video. First, we'll remove the tank and drain out the existing resin. You can see here I had a failed print, which motivated me to go ahead and change out the release film. Now we'll go ahead and just clean everything really well with some high grade rubbing alcohol. Next, we start removing screws. I start with the larger outside screws and then move my way inwards. It is now released from the vat. Go ahead and do a good cleaning with rubbing alcohol on everything here. Now we begin removing all of the screws from the film holder. Open that up and remove the old film. Now more cleaning. You don't want any leftover resin on these pieces. I then lay the piece with the concave holes down. As you can see, that's where the screw heads will seat. A little more cleaning. Now we're ready to apply the release film. Remove the blue and the clear protection liner. Lay it across the bracket and try to center it as much as possible. Place the other bracket on top and center the holes. 
little more clean. We'll punch a little pilot hole here for the screw to go through the release film. While not letting anything move, I insert the first screw. I'm careful not to tighten it all the way down just yet. Now I can insert the second screw. Poke my pilot hole and install it. Now we can go through and make our holes for the others. Install the screws at opposite ends every time to ensure the film gets even tension. The film does not need to be over tight, you just don't want large ripples. Now I go back through and retighten all of the screws. Next, we want to cut off the excess film from the sides.
checking the tension here. Feels great. Now more cleaning. Grab our vat. I'm going to go ahead and poke the other holes to open up the film for the outside screws. Now place it back on. I start with the inner screws and start tightening them at opposite sides. As you tighten, you're wanting to stretch this film a bit to ensure a tight seal around the resin basin. This is one step that is a lot of back and forth as you want an even tightness. Now install the four outer screws. And more cleaning.
Now a step that I think that is quite important. If you add resin to the tank before putting it back in the printer, you don't run a risk of there being a problem in ruining your printer. I'll typically pour the resin and let it sit for about 10 minutes just to ensure there are no leaks before reinstalling. Okay, it's set for 10 minutes and it's good to go. Reinstall the tank. Don't forget the holding screws. Then on your display, go to tools and device self test. Click the option at the top of the screen to reset the film count. Back to printing. If you found any of this content helpful, please consider liking and subscribing as that'll help me bring more content here in the future. Thank you.